Hello my loves and welcome back to my first Halloween look and as you can see it looks a little crazy but this is kind of like my version of a shimmery glittery jester look. You can use this however you want with whatever colors you want. So this was actually a request by a good friend of mine. Her name is Mandy. She wanted a particular eye look and a particular lip look so she had sent me some photos she found on Google and I wish I can give credit to those artists but I don't know where the sources came from. I kept this budget friendly so all of these products were drugstore except for my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I'll never give that up. And everything else is pretty much drugstore and inexpensive. So you can do whatever you like with this look. You can make it green, purple, blue, or red like I did here. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so first off, I just want to apologize. My eyes look red. I'm not drunk. I'm not hungover. I've just been having some serious allergies. I don't know what it is, but I have been putting so many drops in my eyes. <laughs> so yes, um, they actually calm down now that I put on my contacts, which is strange because I thought I would have agitated it. But anyway, if you guys want to know what color I have, it is the Fresh Look Turquoise Contacts. So I already moisturized and I used the Equate Striking strikingly unique moisturizer which is the Clinique comparable one. So I'm going to prime the skin and I'm going to be using the Monistat Shaping Cream. I use it as a primer. Don't judge me. So you want your makeup to last all night especially if you're partying, sweating, doing all that good stuff. Of course, most of these steps are just optional. You don't have to put on foundation and do anything, but I'm gonna go all out and do a whole beat face. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna be using is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This is a 130 shell and it is um, what I thought was my color. It is so not my color. I'm just gonna shake it up and I wanted to use a lighter foundation so that it just looks more Halloween. -y. I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques sponge. You can use any sponge or brush you like or you can apply with your hands. And as you can see, it is a very light foundation. And that's the whole point of this look is to go do whatever you want. <laughs> Now I am okay with putting foundation on my lids because I don't, I notice I don't have oily lids or anything like that. Wow, I look like a ghost. Woo. If you have oily lids, I recommend that you use an eye primer. And one that I like is the Fergie one. This is the shimmer one. I don't really care for this one too much. So I'm gonna bring this to the ears and then I'm just gonna take it down the neck. Depending on what kind of costume you're wearing, you might want to bring it down to the chest. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Wake Up Anti-Fatigue Effect and Radiant Glow Concealer. And this one's in very light, very fair and light. And I just got this recently and uh, I haven't used it yet. So we'll just see if it at least conceals. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Adri Wine. I don't feel like I'm much concealed, if anything. But anyway, this is the brightener shade and I'm just gonna put it on the high points of my cheek. Like, this is really bright. I wanna try to put a couple dots here and see how that looks. I'm gonna take the sponge again and just kind of pat this in. You can use your finger as well. So I'm just going to set the face with one of my powders and this is the Youth Physicians Formula Youthful Wear and I'm just going to use a big old powder and just pack it on. You see I'm just packing it on, Just I'm not brushing it, I'm just packing it on. I'm going to first place brulee all over the lid and I'm going to be using the same Sonia Kashuk 109 brush. You could pack it on with your finger or a face brush if you have a clean one. And I'm literally just going to sweep this all over the lid up to the brow. We'll be back. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. You guys have seen me do my brows many times before. And I also have a brow tutorial. So... I'm just going to opt for keeping mine natural like I normally do. 
Okay, now that my brows are done for now, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the eye look. And I'm going to go ahead and take my next jumbo eye pencil, and this one is in Milk. I'm going to place that on the mobile part of my lid and not take it farther than that because I notice when I open my eyes, it transfers over. I'm just going to take my finger and blend that in. The palette I'm going to be using is the Ultimate 252 palette by Coastal Sense and you don't have to have this palette but if you already have a Coastal Sense palette and it's a multi palette I'm sure you have some reds. So as you can see there's a whole bunch of reds. So I'm just going to be using these two shadows and pretty much just blending them together. I just couldn't decide which red looked better so I'm using both. You can use whatever. I'm just going to place that on the mobile part of the lid and I'm just going to cover up all the white areas. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the Fergie Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner and this one is in Little Black Dress. I love this eyeliner and I'm going to be going ahead with the e.l.f. Angled Eyeliner Brush. If you're not comfortable with eyeliner, just take your time and use short strokes. Don't just go whoop and expect that you're gonna get a perfect line. Now I'm going to take some more and I'm gonna start from the inner corner of the eye and go into the crease. So. Just follow the natural line to your crease. And you can always add more product afterwards. You wanna start off soft. I'm gonna go back in and fix that up a little bit. As you can see, I stopped right at the end of the crease and what I'm going to do is bring that in and kind of curve it out as well. So give it a flick. So as you can see there, I did a little flick and now I'm gonna connect this line to this line. Now as you can see I'm going back in to the eye like that because this is how I normally make my wing eyeliner. I'm going to be going ahead and setting this with some eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and set this with a black eyeshadow and just press this on the wing. Not all the way because I don't want to mess up the point and on the crease and you're literally just pressing it on there now i'm going to take the same eyeliner and eyeliner brush and just smudge a little bit on the bottom lash line just on the first outer third as you can see there and what you can do is connect that line to where the eyeliner starts so i'm going to go back to that black eyeshadow and help smudge this out I'm gonna go back in with the angled brush that I used. Bring the black all the way to the inner corner. I'm going to actually just be a little ghetto about it and use some lash glue. And I'm gonna stick the glue on the back of my hand because I don't want any red on my brush. I'm gonna take some of that on the brush and just place that gently on the lid. And as you can see, I am patting it on there. And it kind of looks a little iridescent. Uh, don't worry about that because it dries clear. I'm going to take a glitter I found from Sinful Colors. And it's just red. Take some on the same brush. And place this gently. Totally recommend doing one eye first. Okay, so tape is gonna be your friend to get rid of any of the excess glitter, as you can see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off with this eye. There you go. I'm going to line my waterline and tight line, and I'm gonna be using my Fergie Wet n Wild on Edge liner. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Fiber Lash Mascara. It's just one I've had for a while. I haven't used it. You can use whatever mascara of your choice. 
So I'm going to be applying falsies with this look. You don't have to. Obviously, I'm glamming it all up. And I'm going to be using the Red Cherry number 16s. So I'm going to be using my City Colors Contour Effects Palette. I'm going to be using the deepest shade because we're just going to go all out, pal, pal. And I'm going to be using an, a Sigma Contour Brush. You can use whatever brush you want. And this is heavy, so I'm just going to tap it on the side of the brush like that. And just carve that sucker out. Take the same color with an ang a small little angled brush just to contour my nose. And this is some heavy stuff, so a little goes a long way. I'm going to take a little bit of blush. I didn't want to, but whatever. I'm going to be using a Jordana blush, and this one is in a touch of pink, and I found this at Kmart, and it was so cheap. I'm just going to lightly dust it on my cheeks. I'm going to take the light shade, the highlight shade of this contour palette, and it is extremely bright so I'm gonna take a little bit and place that on the bridge of my nose as you guys can see there then on the tip and this will just give you a really dramatic effect and then I'm gonna take some under the brow and I'm just going to take that right on top of the cheek and on the side of the temple now I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Fergie eyeliner and when you're using the same eyeliner on the eyes and on the lips you want to sanitize so I've already done so. For my lips I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers black lipstick and the reason why I'm using a black lipstick is because it's a lot more moisturizing and I will be adding lip liner to it so what lip liner does is dry out the lips a little bit so because it's meant for the eyes so I'm going to go ahead and apply this lipstick. Head and line my lips with this and fill it in. I find that this eyeliner is so pigmented. And I'm just going to make a little point. Like that. So I cleaned off my e.l.f. eyeliner brush and I'm going to go back to it with the same Fergie Wet n Wild um, gel eyeliner. I'm going to do is, is make like a little triangle. And fill it in. Either you can make little dots like I will right here. I'm going to make a dot right there right there and then I'm just gonna swoop in I don't know I don't know how this is gonna turn out bear with me mm. we'll work with that <laughs> I'm gonna take my NYX milk pencil and just take it on my finger and dab this on the inner part of my lower lip I use another finger. I'm going to go back in with this red right here. And taking the e.l.f. brush. I already started applying glitter, so my bad. Take that e.l.f. brush and just pack some on to the lip. To the lip. I think I'm going to move on to my finger. And then I'm going to take some on the top lip. So I'm going to go with this little guy right here. And this is Vices from Wet n Wild. It's 99 cents. You can find it at pretty much anywhere. And they have a few colors, but I found the red one. I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. brush. And this. Now, you really have to hit it real good because you're not going to get much glitter from it. And just... Pack that on as you see there. Get it on the lower portion of the lip on the top.
and that is it.